Should you give the decorator allowance and let the buyers do what they want? Or should you do the spruce up projects like carpet, flooring, and painting the house neutral? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Hi, I'm Denise Fox with the Fox Team and Remax, and this question comes up all the time in my listing appointments. Should I replace the carpet? Do I need to? Do I need to paint these walls back to a neutral color? And the hardwood floors, do I really need to refinish them? The answer is yes. It's much better for you to do that than to give a decorator allowance. And here's why. You will often spend far less than you would on the allowance by actually doing the work you will also likely net a much higher sale price. The reason is those three items are the top three items that give you the biggest return on your investment. For instance, it might cost you $1,600 to refinish the hardwood floors, but you'll get 10 more in your sale price. The buyer, they're gonna subtract that amount because they feel like that's what the cost is going to be. You might be able to carpet the house for $5,000 the buyer's gonna assess a price tag of 10,000. Same with paint. If you're good at it, you could paint it yourself. It's just your own sweat equity at that point. Um, but if you're not good, definitely hire a painter or it could, it could have the reverse effect for you. When you have these items done, it also creates a beautiful place for your buyers to come in and have a wow factor and having it be move-in ready makes a larger pool of buyers want to move in to your house. One of the reasons that I hear my clients say, well, I don't want to, you know, have to coordinate the contractors and it's just gonna be so much work if I wanna do these projects. If you can connect with a good agent, then they should be able to help coordinate that for you. For instance, I will take my clients from the very beginning of the process coordinate contractors, connect them, uh, help them get in, help manage the jobs, all the way up to the time that we go to closing and close on the property with them netting more money for the projects. Another reason that I sometimes hear is they don't really have a lot of cash flow. So redoing the carpets ahead of time is a financial burden or being able to refinish the floors is a financial burden. In these cases, Again, working with an experienced agent, I have a number of contractors that will accept payment at closing out of the proceeds of the sale. So that's one way to work around it where you don't have to shell out the money immediately. It can come once you get the money out of the house as you sell it, again, for more money. The other thing is there are companies like Curbio. Curbio is a company that will come in they'll do a complete rehab on a house and then get paid out of closing. So there are a number of options to make sure that you could do this first. It's important to remember that buyers don't always have vision. So when you bring them in, they're gonna see it more as a distressed property. This is what's gonna cause them to not wanna fight and bid and, and you know pay top dollar for it. And again, the number that they're going to be assessing for the cost of those repair and maintenance items is going to be usually far more than you it would actually cost you to do the project. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, you can always reach me at 301-367-8118 and it matters who you work with. So if I can be of any service for you, please reach out and I hope to be speaking to you one day. Thanks for watching.